So I will now be explaining how to use our Bright HR apps. First, I will explain the simple Bright HR app, which is this one here that you can see it has a little Bright HR symbol. If you click on the app, it will bring up this screen, which will bring you into the actual app. Once you are in, you can see here that this is where you're going to be able to find all your upcoming shifts and if there are any shifts pending. If you have any shifts pending, you need to click on there and you will find all your pending shifts waiting here. If there are any shifts that have not been accepted in previous rosters, you'll find them in the older. And if you click on them, they will come up down here, which you can see at the moment, Michael has not had any. You can also find over here, all your accepted shifts for the last 28 days or in your older roster. So if we can see here, we can look at Michael's older roster and see shifts that he has had previously. If we press back, we come back to the normal page. Another function that you guys will need is definitely your documents. If you go into the documents, you'll find two folders. You have my documents and first and great support services documents. In the first and great support services, this will be where you find all your main things that you will need. Here, you might find your pay rates, your COVID checklist, our handbook and manuals, your progress notes, and everything else that we may upload. If anything has to be seen by all you guys, it will be put up onto the first and great support services document page and then it will be notified to you to go ahead and get that. In the My Documents, this is where you're going to find all of your information. So all the documents that were signed by you guys, you can see in here that you can have everything. It'll tell you when something's overdue or needs a follow up and everything like that. This is also where you will be able to access your client information. So as we can see here, we have a client. If we click on that client, we can see information that we might need to know about this client. For this particular one, we have a mask exemption. If you click on that, you can simply click the download button, which then will bring it up. As you can see, it is now brought it up for you and you can see that there is a mask exemption. So you might need to have access to your client's contact details or to their support plan. That will be found on here. And that is in the My Document section. These are gonna be really the only two functions that you will need on this page. As you can see, there is the big red button pink button. This is where you can request time off, but I do request that nobody touches this button or puts time off request through here. Only because if you do, it can be confusing if I miss that particular uh, notification and I may not know that you may not be showing up for a shift or that you uh, cannot work at a period of time. So please just give me a courtesy call and then I will put in that time of leave for you. Also, you can see up in here, if you press on your profile, this is where you can see everything that's coming up. So if you have requested time off, you'll be able to find it on here. You can also see all your personal information and also your employment details as well. Up here, you can have the ability to add a photo, um, which would be lovely if most of you could do that because I love to see faces when I am putting a roster together, but it is not required. So, and here, you'll also find your notifications. So just by scrolling through, you start with your upcoming shifts, you move on to your next absence. So in case you have requested an absence, it'll tell you there. Your current and future roster. So if you've been put on anything, but once again, you can find that back on this page. And the last one is if there's any notifications, if I send out a notification to everyone, you can find it in here. 
and also notifications. See this little notification bell? You can press on that and notifications will come up in here as well. And that is how you work the Bright HR app.